Hi everyone, it's Tam Baramba here, also known as Tammy Klinger, joining you today with another Art by Marlene art journal page. So this is the one I've created here with some of the new Back to Nature and Essentials products that are available right now. So I've started with the artist size journal and then I've grabbed the new Back to Nature paper pad. Now I will leave all the codes in the comments. But yeah, I've basically flipped through and I love this sort of painty background. So to make it fit the whole page, I've simply torn it into halves and then I'm sticking the top half on with the glue, the sticky glue, and then the bottom half as well. And what I love about Marlene's um, paper pads is it gives you the starting point, the jumping off point into your art journal page. So often I don't really know what I want to do. Um, but I'll get inspiration from her products and her colours and yeah and that sort of sparks me off and off I go. So what I'm doing here is actually just trying to merge the background. So just trying to extend it out over the whole entire page and I actually want to hide uh, the, the paper, the ripped edges. So you'll see at the end that it does you can barely see where it is. You have to kind of feel it with your finger because it's really, really hard to find. So because this is a painterly background, I've come in with um, lots of the new paints. So I've used Cheesy, the yellow, and I've used Kissy, the hot pink. I've also come in with Sky, which is that beautiful blue, and a little bit of Royal, which is that really deep purple. And then I've come in with quite a bit of mermaid as well, just because there's some lighter um, aqua in there. And I've used a little bit of the lace, which is the white, uh, just to bring in a few patches of white. And that's actually what I'm doing in this section. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of white paint and then, sorry, I'm sponging white paint through a crafter's workshop stencil that Marlene designed. And um, I'm just creating a little bit of background texture with that, just in a few little spots. Now I'm coming in with um, the royal, the purple, and I'm deepening up a couple of areas. So I love creating a few layers. I've used Marlene's brushes to do a bit of mark making, just in a couple of sections. So now I've come in with the new uh, Chicken Wire Clear Stamp. And I've applied the Kissy, which is the hot pink paint, to that and I've just stamped it in a couple of areas in the background and you'll see that kind of lifts it all up straight away. So now I know I want to create a bit more sort of mark making and textures in the background so I've grabbed that awesome new essential stamp that I absolutely love. It's called Mixed Elements and I'm coming in, there's, first I'm using a little sort of triangular um, stamp and using white paint with that and um, I will come in with some more in a minute but I always and I know I probably say this in every video always bring some white back into your pages that's just what sort of lifts them up so I've done that with that little bit of stamping again with a little bit of stenciling and just by applying a little bit of white paint with my finger and what I um, have in my head that I will add a focal point with some of those flower stamps so I kind of want a little bit of white behind that focal point just so they don't get lost in the page. Now to add to the uh, painty background I've got some leftover paint um, so I just used that to splatter so I think it was the sky and the kissy that's just whatever I had left so don't be too worried about that but I've just used it up by splattering it on my page so now back to the um, mixed element stamps and this time I've selected a little circular one that's in there and with some yellow some some more of that cheesy paint I'm just uh, stamping that randomly in the background then I grab out some archival ink and I love this gorgeous stamp that's in the set and I'm just kind of making clusters so I want it to look create some movement towards the center of the page where I will put my focal point always make sure that you stamp off of your page uh, so that your stamps look natural if you just plonk them in the 
you know not off the page they will just look like that like you've just plonked in there so you need to sort of create that movement okay so now i've decided to grab the gorgeous uh, back to nature wildflowers stamp i've got all that color happening in the background so I decide I'm just going to stamp these onto um, white cardstock, just simple black and white, and that will really pop off the page with those um, colours in the background. So I've grabbed um, a stamping uh, pad. It's not a pad. What is it called? You know what I mean. Um, this is one that Studio Light from Studio Light, and I'm just kind of marking out where I want them so that they fit on the page. So I get quite a few on the page of the flowers. And I just um, am stamping them. I will give them a bit of a, a heat, um, a blast with a heat gun, just to just to really set that archival ink, and then I will fussy cut them out. Now I think I um, cut a little bit out here because you don't need to sit and watch me do all this fussy cutting. Yep. So there we go. So there they're all cut out, and now it's just playing around with where I want them on my page, and. You'll see they have the gorgeous stems attached and because I wanted a bit of height and because I'm working in the largest art journal, I needed to add a little bit more to the stems just to, uh, so I could have some various heights. So all I've simply done is cut out some little curved strips with out of the white cardstock and I'm actually just adhering all of that with um, some matte gel medium. So I had to, so that stamp actually didn't have a stem, so I've created my own stem again, just a very thin curved line out of the white cardstock. Now I will dry that all off um, and it needs to be really, really dry. And then I will come in and you will see I'll create those stems. I'll outline them in pen and they will look just like the stamps. So then I added um, a sticky quote from the Bold and Bright collection and the quote says, I paint flowers so they will not die, which is a very famous quote and very suitable for this page. So then I've also come in with those awesome new die cut paper frames. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with these. Um, and I grabbed one of the, um, the frames that has the scallops and I decided I didn't want to use it as a frame I just wanted to cut out some of those scallops and add them to the just for some extra interest to my page so I've simply glued them on with the sticky glue and here I'm just trying to get those um final stems right making sure it's really 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 dry and then you can see I've come in with a pen and I'm just outlining quite scribbly so it looks like the stamping and just bringing it down all the way to the bottom of the page outlining my quote and then I just add a little bit of definition to a couple of the flowers and then I come in with my Stabilo all pencil in the black and I'm just outlining um, going around the flowers because I want them to really have a shadow and to come forward off of the background so just going around the edges I'm not being too particular about it um, and then I will come in with a really fine paintbrush and a little bit of water and you'll see that activates the pen and it just really creates that shadow and it means those flowers don't get lost in in that busy 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 background so we'll just continue this on and really that's about all I do to my page. I just think, you know, Marlene creates these beautiful papers and they can be your jumping off point um, for you to get creative. So then I have used a little bit of black paint, which is pitch just and using my finger to create a border around the edge and that kind of frames the whole thing and um, ties it all together so then I've also used a little bit of white paint I as I've said I think white just bringing white back in helps everything to pop so I just felt like it was still a bit too busy and I know it sounds like it's going to be even busier when you add more mark making but um, adding that white in actually tones it all down a little bit 
also in the um, mixed element stamps there is a tiny little dotted one as well so I've actually added that around the page with black it looks a bit like black splatters and that just ties in my border um, and the shadows around my flowers and my scallops and I'm now I think I'm done <laughs> so yeah that's it so I'll pop it in my large journal and there you have it so I'll leave you with some close-ups you can probably notice that I did film this one at night. The video is not quite right, the colours. So I am changing my job and I'm hoping to be able to do more daytime videos. So the lighting should be better. So thanks so much for joining me. I'd love you to leave a comment. Thanks. Bye.